Carlos. All right, shifting gears now to Aurora. Five people were shot near Colfax and Dayton while leaving a party around midnight last night. All of those victims were between the ages of 16 and 20 years old. Police did not give any information about possible suspects. Now, this is the third shooting in Aurora with multiple teenagers shot in just under two weeks. The first shooting happened last Monday at Nome Park, injuring six teenagers. Another shooting last Friday outside Hinkley High School, injuring three teenagers. And now this one here today. Every single person who was shot is expected to survive. All of the suspects police have under arrest are either 15 or 16 years old. And now Aurora schools are putting stricter security measures in place tonight to try to keep students safe. That includes keeping all high schoolers on campus during lunch. Denver 7's Ivan Rodriguez spoke with parents who are now rethinking sending their kids to Aurora schools. Aurora Public School says starting on Monday, they'll be increasing security at their high school campuses with the help of the Aurora Police Department. They say this is being done to help ease safety concerns from the community as well as keep students safe. It's too late. That should have happened before it got as bad as it did. Julie Mira lives across the street from Hinkley High School and was working from home when the Hinkley shooting happened. One party possibly shot in the parking lot there at my Hinkley High School. And I went to the window. I saw kids running. Um, I saw a, a few kids drop and just a lot of screaming, a lot of chaos. It's for that reason, she says her family will be moving and her young daughter won't be attending Hinkley High School in the future. I couldn't in good faith as a parent send my kid to somewhere with that amount of violence and lack of safety measures. Down the street, Rosa Martinez agrees and hopes the new regulations are actually implemented. Ojalá Dios quiera que se apliquen lo que están diciendo. Martinez says hopefully they can apply these restrictions because if they do, they will give more security that their kids are safe. In a letter sent from Aurora Public Schools to parents, the district says they will be increasing security at all high school campuses. High school students won't be allowed to leave campus during the school day, including parking lots without permission. Counseling support will also be available to students, and these protocols will stay in place until winter break. No me sorprendió porque ya sé lo que pasa. Martinez says she wasn't surprised by the latest shooting at Hinkley. She says three weeks ago, she went to speak with the school administrators regarding her concerns, and they told her they couldn't keep track of every student, but what she could do was move her daughter to a different school. In the end, Martinez says she did just that. A spokesperson with the Aurora Police Department tells me they'll have school resource officers in the schools, as well as officers from other teams and units increasing their patrols around the high school. In Aurora, Ivan Rodriguez, Denver 7. Ivan, thank you. Now, tonight we received a statement from Aurora Mayor Mike Kaufman about this string of youth shootings. He says in part, I look forward to hearing from both law enforcement and prosecutors about a zero tolerance approach to gun violence for minors who are illegally possessing and using handguns. He added that Aurora has been beefing up our youth violence prevention programs that target at risk youth and working to deter young people from going down the wrong path before it's too late. For coverage on all the recent shootings in Aurora, head to thedenverchannel.com. There you can also watch our in-depth coverage on how city leaders are working to prevent any further violence.